Please welcome Casey. I'm Casey, you know that. It's my exposure. If I gave you the choice to either be slapped in the face with the amount of force necessary for it to be heard by the nosebleed seats, or to not do that, you'd be quick to choose the latter. Not surprisingly, most professional actors make the same decision. Stage fighting is a skill that can add realism and decrease injuries in your production. When I first heard about the Explorations Project, my mind went to the same place that many other junior minds did. Fight scene, I want to do a fight scene. Oh, that's gonna look so cool. But looking back on all my previous productions, whenever I tried to do an action scene like that, actors ended up getting hurt because I had no idea how to do fight choreography. So this is where the 21st century skill of visual literacy came into play, and I decided to pivot to stage combat, how to do it. So in order to expand my knowledge of stage combat, sorry, stage combat, um, while originally from thespian stage acting, it has expanded over the last 100 years or so to include film and television and is now used in the largest box office productions, like that scene in John Wick 3 where he's beating the guy up with a book. Not a real book, not really fighting. To expand my knowledge of stage combat, I decided to attend a few different stage combat workshops at like the YMCA and a few different community colleges, where I learned some key principles of stage combat, as well as how to punch, how to kick, how to not break each other's legs. And at and I fueled all, and I funnel all of that into my infographic, which outlines a few different key principles of stage combat and demonstrates <coughs> some different skills, how to do them safely, how to do them right. After this, I decided that for my film element, I really wanted to produce an instructional video about how to do stage combat well. But this is where I ran into a lot of trouble because I couldn't find actors who were either interested in this or who know, knew how to do it well enough. So within the last week or so, I ended up getting into contact with a friend of mine who's in college uh, studying stage acting named Kieran Ward. And I wrote a script for him, and he helped me by acting in this, and I think it's a really fun final product, and I'll show that to you now. Also, any quality issues? It's YouTube's fault, it's not mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Casey Snell. This is my friend Kieran Ward. He's been a stage actor for 11 years, so he knows a lot about stage combat. Stage combat has a lot of tiny rules that you can break. The three main ones that you should always follow are called the three P's. Those are perception, pre-planning, and victim in control. Kieran, take it away. Perception is the angle at which the audience sees the combat. If the audience can't see the point of impact clearly, you can get away with not actually hitting your opponent. It also helps if the victim of the situation reacts to being hit. Pre-planning is the act of communicating with your partner beforehand so they understand exactly what you're going to do. It's a lot easier to block or dodge a strike that you know is coming than a strike that you don't. Improvising stage combat on an unwilling participant is not only dangerous, it's also a crime. <laughs> the victim should always be in control of the situation because they're the ones that are most at risk of getting hurt. The victim should be allowed to stop the stage combat at any time that they need, and the victim should always feel in control. Here are a few basic stage combat scenarios. Punching is very easy. The victim moves their face in reaction while the attacker punches and hits their own hand to their own chest. This act of hitting the chest produces the sound effect of being punched. Producing artificial fighting sounds during stage combat is called napping. For choking, the attacker will place their hands around the victim's neck with their thumb on the victim's collarbone. The victim will place their hands over the attackers to hide their neck from the camera. <laughs> For slaps, the attacker will swing an open palm while the victim will clap their hands together and move one hand to their cheek in one swift motion. The clap will produce the sound of someone being slapped. So those are some of the fundamentals of stage combat. Hope you remember those anytime you might need to film a fight scene in the future. I couldn't read it. It said we both died minutes later from our injuries. Never tried this at home. We were showing you what you're not doing. No, seriously. Um, it's a really useful skill that I'm glad I learned, and I learned a lot about visual literacy and self-direction while making this project, and I'm really glad to be able to teach it to enter any actors that I might work with in the future. Thank you. And I have a question about this.
are you planning on doing a fight scene like for a project in film next year? I don't know, but I like being secure in like the knowledge that I know how to do it if I want to, and I like being able to teach actors how to do it if I can't cast certain people that don't already know how to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you.